There are three different kinds of symbols in Animate. Uh, there is the button, the graphic, and the movie clip. And I've gone ahead and done a little sample with a button, a graphic, and a movie clip right here for you. My button will be this blue one. And my graphic is going to be this uh, magenta, my movie clip rather, is this magenta colored one, right? And my graphic is going to be the green one. Uh, when you have a symbol that you've made and you double click on that symbol, it takes you into what's called isolation mode or editing mode. And your regular timeline disappears. And now you see the timeline in this isolation or editing mode. Um, the thing I wanted to show you, and I'll go ahead and make these in a new window. So if you haven't got a new one started, go to File, New. And get yourself an HTML5 canvas. And uh, draw some sort of circle or shape like that, because we're going to turn it into three different kinds of symbols. When you draw it, you'll double click it. You go to Modify, Convert to Symbol. And let's start with the graphic. That's the simplest one. I'm going to name my graphic Graphic, just to be uh, pretty obvious about it. And there it is. That's my graphic. When I double click on that, you see how it takes me from scene one into editing mode for the graphic. If I need to get back out of that, I click on scene one. It takes me back where I was. Draw another shape. And I double click that. It doesn't take me anywhere just yet. It just highlights the pixels. I can modify convert to symbol. I'm going to make this one a movie clip. And I'm going to draw another thing, and I'm going to make it a button. Modify Convert to Symbol. And this drop down to the word button. You can see here, button, graphic, movie clip. I'm actually going to use this other window where I've got them different colors, because I think that simplifies my life. So let me just go ahead, and I'll make blue button, M, magenta movie clip, G, green, graphic. That'll make me help help me keep track. So I'm going to go ahead and pause while I build this. I'm just going to highlight it, go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and do the thing I just showed. All right, so now I've got it. I've got a blue button, a green graphic, and a magenta movie clip. That helps me keep track, I guess. When I double-click on any of them, it takes me to a different timeline. When I go back to scene one, I double-click on this one, takes me to a different timeline, and so on. The simplest thing in Animate, in terms of the symbols, all right, are the graphics. In the graphics, you just basically use them in the main the main scene, the scene one, and you tween them around. So we've done that. Everything we've made so far has tweened exactly like a graphic would. So I'm going to let that be right where it is until later. Right here, I'm going to pick up my movie clip and double click it. That puts me into the editing mode or the isolation mode for the movie clip. And you'll see there's a timeline with frames right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make two keyframes. I'm going to make a keyframe at five, and I'm going to make a keyframe at 10. And at 5, I'm going to move this down. I'm going to make this ball bounce. Uh, and select layer 1 and insert a classic tween. And now, when I play it back, that bounces. When I go back to scene 1, there are no frames. That just sits still. If you wanted to see what that movie clip is capable of doing, you can't do that inside of Animate. You have to actually test it in a browser window or something. So if you hit Control on your keyboard and then the Enter key, or if you go to Control and say Test right here, you can go to a browser window, and that thing will bounce forever. It's on a constant loop because that is the behavior you've assigned to the movie clip. Uh, let's go ahead and assign some behavior to my button. When it gives you this warning, by the way, it's just telling you that you're not doing things correctly for JavaScript, which we're not worried about today. Switch back to the timeline. You see how there's only one frame still. I'm going to change this button up a little bit. So I'm still in scene one. I'm going to double click the button. Now I'm in isolation mode for the button. The button doesn't have numbers in its timeline. It's got up, over, down, and hint. When you think about a, a website, you think about something uh, with buttons on it, like my page, for example. My buttons have an overstate. So when my mouse is away from the button, it looks this way. And when my mouse is hovering over the button, it looks that way. And you actually can see things with a hit state. So let's say this right here, this link is blue. And when I click on it, the link becomes purple. That's because it's been hit. So that's the idea. Up, over, down, and hit are simply just different states the button can be in if you're using it in a browser window. 
So you can put keyframes just like you've put keyframes in anything. And in the overstate, let's say I want this to be red. And in the downstate, I want this to be, there's a keyframe, yellow. And in the hit state, and this is something that doesn't always work because you haven't published it on the website. So we're just going to do this for effect here. We're going to do this because we, we know it can be done, not because it's going to work today. But I'm going to put a keyframe, and I'm going to make that bright green. So I've got up, over, down, and hit. When I go back to scene one, I don't see the up, over, down, and hit uh, in my timeline. And I don't see this button doing anything but sitting there being blue. But again, if I hit control, enter, this thing is bouncing, and this thing will change based on where my mouse is in relation to it. So if I'm away from it, it's blue. If my mouse is right on top of it, it's red. If my mouse clicks it, it's yellow. But since I don't have it actually going anywhere and showing that it's been hit, I can't turn it green right now. Anyhow, those are the three kinds of symbols. If you would, please, before you leave here today, show me that you've got a movie clip, bounce it up and down, and a button that's got the different states. And I already know you know how to make a graphic. So if you show me that, that's what I'd like to see today.